This is Thalassarex, the mighty sea king, a massive brute that's extremely territorial. Thalassarex is made to bully anybody in its way. All right, hello everybody. This is Thalassarex. Don't let his size here deceive you. This guy is massive. So let's go through these subspecies right quick. This is our basic common default Thalassarex. Next, we have Beach Master, which has larger spines on the back and the head. The teeth are also longer as well. Even the spines and the tail are a little bit longer two then we have doe which is our female thalassorex subspecies they have much smaller spines the head is ultimately smaller too but basically if you want to show some dimorphism in your gameplay you could definitely use this subspecies next we have war torn is back to being a bit thicker he's actually blind in his right eye here you can see that it's not the same on this side and he's got a shorter torn off tooth here this guy has definitely been through some things then we're back to our basic and let's check out the female skin right quick it's a lot darker it just doesn't have that red that the male skin has other than that it looks pretty much the same let's go through the calls right quick first we have broadcast <laughs> <laughs> I love how it kind of sits like it's on land even though it's in the water, but that's okay. Two call? <laughs> it also does that same thing as the broadcast, but I love that it has this kind of gruff chuckle to it. I know there's a word, maybe chuff? Is chuff a word? Yeah, chuff is a word, but it has a kind of really gruff sounding two call. Threaten? <laughs> kind of sways off to the side and then jumps forward which is really nice four call it's kind of like if you burped backwards if that makes sense i don't know i don't know but it's really really cute and it's not that scared but i mean come on he's a beast master he's not supposed to be scared talk oh i like that one it's a nice calm rumble uh scratch Oh, wait a second. It's a belly pad. <laughs> it's a belly pad. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just show that one more time so you guys can see it. There we go. He pats his belly. Oh, it's so cute. And then we have Mystery. He rears up on his back fins. His head is kind of out of the water. He's banging forward. This one's more of a like territorial display from what I can tell definitely something you need to use with other thalassorex then our invite is gonna be the same as our two call all right here is the baby model it's very interesting it looks nothing like the adult model besides the general shape of the body here you can see how long it is you got the tail but i would have thought this was a completely different creature if i didn't know that this was the baby model of thalassorex but let's go through the calls right quick first we have broadcast oh it's just another squeak like usual you can kind of see like a tooth there the little white streak on his chin right here so like the teeth that he doesn't have yet trying to come through or maybe he does i wasn't paying attention when he opened his mouth two call oh, okay so he does have teeth but it's just coming through the model a little bit there that's okay threaten there you go so my man he curls up his tail and he lunges forward four call it's basically a small hiss again it doesn't really look scared but of course that's not exactly what they want so you can still see the teeth kind of coming through the model on both sides but that's okay talk you got the rumble it still pretty much sounds like the adult but it's very cute and i think it's pretty perfect for a talk emote so either it's the same as talk or maybe there's a bug where you're not seeing the belly slap for the baby model i'm not entirely sure but we'll try it on land and see if that makes a difference then we have our territorial oh that one's also just like the talk emote interesting i don't know if it's basically not a loud emote at its age or if there's actually a bug there well let's look at some of the baby animations here we have our swim our slow swim you can see the back fins the whole back tail movement it just looks like a big uh wiggle <laughs> really um at least for the baby model and here's our side view 
I love the way the end of the tail works though. It looks really good. And on top, and here's our speed swim. Just a much faster wiggle. He's not going that much faster though, at least as the baby. Yeah, I mean, he's going faster than the slow swim, but not that much faster at all. You are absolutely vulnerable as a baby. All right, and here's us on land. It's a little bit slidey for the baby, at least with the front paws. It's kind of better though. We drive ourselves pretty well though. Like this is much better land movement than most semi-aquatics get. So this is a plus for sure. See if we can sit. We kind of just lay here flat with our mouth open and sleep. Oh, he just puts his head off to the side. Oh, it's a nice little idol. He switches sides too. That's super cute. I do love that idol to be honest for the sleep and our get up. There's not much to get up, so it's not super slow. Gonna be huge for you on land when you're vulnerable because of the extra damage you take when sleeping. All right, and here's our adult model. I told you he, this guy was massive. I don't know if you can tell just from looking at him like this, but he's very long, much, much bigger than the baby. And he takes up so much space. But let's go through the adult animations right quick. This is our land walk right here. This is nice and slow but it's pretty decent it's for a semi-aquatic. We're going to speed up a little bit. A bit more of a wiggle. You don't lose as much stamina when you're doing this on land just because he's kind of made for it a little bit. But that's kind of terrifying to see this like swim at you that way or waddle at you. Here's our slow swim on the surface. We'll dive a little bit. It's pretty good. I do like the swim animation a lot. I've always liked it. He fits right at home within these rocks, honestly. So here's our swim, our speed swim, which again, he's not super, super fast. So I think he probably really relies on ambushing. The turn isn't that bad though. Like speed turning, turning in place. So he should be able to protect himself from behind fairly nicely. He definitely looks like he's hunting though. With his face. I just want to see a little size comparison. This is us next to a kelp shark, guys. We're just huge. Like, look, we can just carry him. The fin of the kelp shark kind of goes through our face, but other than that, he fits perfectly. And he looks very sad about it. Very, very sad about it. Yeah, so here's going to be our eating animation. Let me put this down right quick. All right, so here's the eating part. He grabs a chunk right there rips it off to the side like that he's he's just kind of viciously eating it <laughs> we're gonna sit right here the tail flips it's a really nice little detail i think and then sleep curl the head up to the side with the tail my man's is a great single bachelor here and then our get up same animations just reversed all right here's our precise movement on land this is our turn in place it's kind of slow you know not the greatest I probably wouldn't bother with it. Uh, let's see our left side shuffle. It's basically just dragging our body, our right. And we're going back. We can check to see if it's any better in the water. Here's our precise movement in the water. It's basically just a turn. It's much, much quicker. To our left here to our right here of course uses a lot more of the tail because we're in the water back where swim <laughs> i love the tail here all right we're gonna go through the skins right quick this is the female default skin right here then we have great white river hunter blue dragon polar abysmal finback marine swamp tegu albino and melanistic now they're not the most amazing skins ever but they're still pretty pretty good great white could really end up looking good i thought there was an orca skin at one point but i guess not or a leopard seal it may not be available right now but definitely look out for those now we're gonna check the abilities right quick we have our extra senses that you get with ancient monster mods we have with the power of the ancient warriors you gain strength the fight increases your attack damage by 10 percent totem where all stats are balanced and then you have the ability to defend yourself from foes increases your armor by 10 percent then we have two head slots here 
First we have Bite. The Rasselrex uses its massive jaw and pair of teeth to inflict massive amounts of damage. Then we have Clamp. Although the Rasselrex uses the element of surprise to grab their prey, they are often seen simply grabbing them off the shore. This ability does not do damage but can grab. Then we have Face Tank. Take 30% reduced damage from hits to your head, neck, and chest. Then we have Thrash. The Lacerex are known to thrash their heads when they have prey in their mouths. Medium damage, but does armor piercing. Can only be used in water and it drains both oxygen and stamina. So be very sparingly with this. Then our regular senses, we have Territorial Dispute. The Lacerex do not like other carnivores in its territory and will often threaten them out of it. Decreases attack damage and increases incoming damage by 10% to all carnivores within 20 meters of you only works on land. Then we have Coastal King. The Lacerex are known to hunt on the coastline for small animals swimming by. Increases attack damage by 10% when not in a group and must be swimming to activate. Then we have Carnage. Increases attack by 20% within 75 meters of a corpse. And that is the bully that I was talking about earlier. Front limb. We have Landslide. The Lacerex are known to do small bursts of speed while sliding in the ground. Charges forward with an increase of speed and does damage. Then Body Slam. The Lacerex are known to slam their bodies on the ground to disorient prey and predators high area of effect damage attacks and can only be used on land so our only aoe attack here definitely sounds useful for metabolism we only have hyper carnivore which eat me meat and fish who drains much slower then for hide we have armored shoots take 30 percent reduced damage from hits to your body and then basking the lacerex are known to rest on shores and many many waterways and beaches increase health and stamina regeneration by 10 percent on land during the day you are going to be one tough guy to kill with all the armor abilities that they have legs we have Dig deep, the Lacerex while fighting each other develop strong limbs that help them resist the punch back from other Thalassarex. Take 30% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. Then Beach Master, the Lacerex are known to challenge each other on the coast to see who rules over the beach. Improves land speed, time allowed on land, and stamina regen while on land. Then our tail, we have Tail Slap. The Lacerex uses their massive tails to hit off pests that snap at its backside. Low damage, armored tail, Damage and status effects afflicted to your tail is dramatically reduced. And Ambush. The Lacerex are known for their ability to leap out of the water to disorient their prey. Allows to breach out of the water, but also to grab other players. That's going to be good. It's very similar, I think, to Dana Sukas's Shore Grab. So we'll definitely want to check that out. All right, let's go through our abilities right quick. First up, we have Bite. It's pretty simple, very quick. It's gonna do exactly what you need to do and it does high damage. Then we have Clamp. It's just like the bite actually, surprisingly, but it just has a much longer cooldown it seems. I'm glad it's not super slow like other abilities. Next we have Thrash. <laughs> it kind of looks a little funny when you don't have anything in your mouth. I kind of wish it curled up a little bit more too, but it's a much more stiff animation still pretty cool definitely an ability to use if you're going to make ambushing more of your style next we have landslide <laughs> which is so funny oh i'm so used to only the penguin doing the landslide but this is great i'll take this as well it's very useful i think for um obviously snatching something off the coast and dipping into the water Make a quick escape if you need something but can't actually fight. 10-10 ability. Next we have Body Slam. It looks, it looks really, really good. That does a lot of damage depending on where it hits you. If they headshot you with this, that could take probably 50 to 75% of your health for most mid-tier dinosaurs. One more time, Body Slam. Yeah, definitely don't get trapped under that. And lastly, we have Tail Attack. There we go. It's a quick, simple Tail Attack like everything else we've done. It looks more fluid with that for sure, though. That's about it for the Lacerex. My opinions on this guy, he's going to be very hard to kill. Most of the abilities revolve around giving you extra armor. You're going to be kind of slow, so you might want to hit your shots, basically, because it'll be hard for you to both get away or to stop something else from getting away from you. Definitely relies on you being more of a sneaky predator, but you have the health to bully something else off of other food if you can't catch anything. 
all in all really enjoy the idea of this predator here he's going to be a very interesting thing to play and he's got a couple of really fun and cute emotes so i would definitely be looking out for thrasorex definitely try him see how many apexes you can fight before dying because <laughs> he's just that good i remember thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing if you like this video make sure to check out other videos i cover a lot of different mods i also cover games that you might not have heard of so again thank you so much and i will see you in the next video